Paul is at the pub in Portsmouth now. Robert. Sophie, when Karen Murphy took over here at the red, white and blue six years ago, there was one issue to resolve. How to enable her customers to watch the best quality soccer at the best quality price. Now, since then, she's been pursuing that principle through the British courts and on into Europe. And just after 9.30 this morning came the announcement she'd hoped for. Big happy smile. She has some cause for celebration. A six-year confrontation with the Premier League has swung in her favour. Karen Murphy turned to a cheaper Greek decoder on the advice of a brewery, but ended up paying out £8,000 in fines and costs. The actual um, description of the crime was dishonestly receiving a foreign satellite broadcast, and they found me I wasn't dishonest, and then I showed it again, and then they caught up help. they thought I was dishonest, and they've gone on from there. So I know I've, I've appealed, obviously. And what's made you go all this way? Because I believed in what I was doing. I, I just don't understand how a, a monopoly, which is a private company, can dictate... They think they're the, above the law and they can dictate what I do. I should be able to go out, as with any other commodity, and buy, and choose to buy from wherever I like. Why should they dictate where I buy from at what price? Not covering foreign decoding devices. Today, the European Court of Justice reached its decision, ruling that national legislation which prohibits the import, sale or use of foreign decoder cards is contrary to the freedom to provide services and cannot be justified. Laporte! It's taken the European Court four months to reach the view that, whilst some elements of the broadcasts, such as branding, are copyright, the actual games are not. In this country, the Premier League's main rights agreements lie exclusively with Sky Sports and ESPN. The league make around 1.4 billion a year on overseas rights deals, of which less than 10% comes from Europe. The league are still digesting the implications of today's ruling, but it could mean radical changes to the deals they agree in future. At the moment, it exploits them across the EU, and therefore, uh, for example, in Greece, where the broadcasts were originally shown and then transmitted back to the UK, potentially in the future they won't do that um, to dissuade the very practices that we've seen. The impact on broadcast rights is not restricted to top-class soccer. It could affect every sport which sells those rights on a country-by-country -country basis. Karen Murphy now awaits a High Court decision on whether her conviction will be quashed and whether she can toast the end of the battle that has dominated her life. Well, a few extra passenger, a few extra customers rather, in the pub. Uh, Karen uh, Murphy's issue has been relatively simple. When you look at the big picture, though, that isn't the case. What about the Premier League? What will they do? Well, they could extend the use of branding on their coverage in order to take advantage of the copyright issue, which was mentioned by the court today. Or perhaps they could go for some form of pan-European rights deal in the, coming up, in the negotiations which are coming up. And what of landlords? Can they now do what Karen Murphy did? They've called for clarity. But when you look at everything that's going on, it's likely that clarity is some way off. Sophie. Robert, thank you very much. The Home Secretary.